Bayete tsupua, bayete tafito, bayete kahuyo ngariki, bayete tavivi ya tsuma tauenga. Each year, a new intake of army recruits arrive to complete their basic training. They have just 16 weeks to prove they have what it takes. They'll be pushed to the limit as they transition from civilian to soldier. Kill the enemy! And not everyone will make it. It's the final week for intake 388. The recruits are training hard to get their drill right for the final march out at graduation. Yeah, it's a bit of a hectic week, us as well as the recruits. They've got to do a drill competition, and whoever wins that out of the three platoons, they march on the parade ground leading. The instructors carry a lot of pride with it as well, a lot of work put into it. They're very competitive, the PBIs. We've got a $100 bet. If he loses, he's give me 100 bucks and his undies, and yes, let's call him baby. And saying that, Hinton might be us. <laughs> all the competitions have been close, high standard all round. They're not too bad, not the best. The New Zealand Army's own haka will also be performed. Recruit to Fighty has been charged with making sure the VIPs are impressed. All the top dogs are going to be on the line of costume. So we're going to be like, put them off the wall and then move into a horseshoe. Then haka just to them. Just, just one point, it has to be easy. Remember, it's a mouldy easy, but it might be whitey hard. Yeah, so I've already asked them, and half of them don't even know what the hell you're on about. You just got less than a week to practice this. Before they can graduate, the recruits must pass a number of physical tests. Today, those that haven't already passed will attempt the combat fitness test in full kit. They have to be a total of 20 kilos with their body armour, webbing and rifle. And then that's the weight they'll be utilising for the whole CFT. So if you don't pass your CFT, you still match up with everybody else, but you don't go to your unit. You go to a different plateau until you pass it, pretty much. Big day for some of them. People need to get in the zone for today. What are you going to get in 32A? Yep. So you'll get in these yeah, years. You got what, a minute to cut? Abilities. You'll be right. The repetitions are not to be counted if you do not fully move behind the one metre mark. One minute, you have to complete 10 successful repetitions in 90 seconds. Recruit Karen Singh is the smallest and lightest recruit in the company, and for her, the physical tests have always been more challenging. Let's go, girl. Go, 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 go. One minute 30. Go, 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 go. Go. Good job, Singh. One minute 40. And recruit Kyla Smith has not fully recovered from a torn Achilles tendon but he's determined to test regardless. Push ourselves, eh? Get it, Chris. There's our 2K up ahead. We're 40 seconds behind. We need to make up time now. You've got to find something new. Just go duffy. In order to pass, the 4K run must be completed in under 32 minutes. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> Duffy has come in 13 seconds too late. <laughs> and Runga has also failed. Singh tells the field two minutes over time. There is only one chance to retake the test in time for graduation. Smith has had to pull out halfway, and it's unlikely she'll get to march out. It was just like painful as I was like, I can't carry on. And in my head, I was like, have I just lost like my dream? I like to set high standards for myself. I don't want to disappoint people like my nan. I want to make them so proud. But if I can't run, I have to stay back. But failure is like part of succeeding, so. But like all the females were like crying. Like I talked to my mum last night, she was just like, just make it all worth it and know you can pass it. I really want to leave with everyone and go to loggy training. Yeah. It 
it's crucial to pass all the tests to graduate with their current platoon. Back squatting may see recruits having to change platoons and postpone their graduation. It's not just physical tests, it's also about living up to the Army's code and values. We're going to graduate close to 90%. The ones that are, are struggling, uh, we have a look at them to see whether they've met the grade. For some of them, we give them that final chance. And for some, their attitude and behaviour is just not quite what we need. Right. Stand at ease. Cool, just uh, wait out here. We'll be short Recruit here. Cruz Penny has had a history of poor discipline, and he is at risk of being back squatted. Oh, be a bad boy. Get in charge. Or even sent home. You'll be charged as failing to comply with written orders contrary to Armed Forces Disciplinary Act. Yes, so much Basically, you didn't bloody hand your cell phone back when you were told to. You hit it. You know what the drill is, all right? Yes, Remove sir. your headdress. Was it? Place it in your pocket. The fate of the recruits is being decided by the hierarchy at progress meetings during the week. They were given a timing to give back phones. All but Penny met that timing. So yeah, two days later, the section actually had a meeting about it, and they said we're gonna we have to tell them that he has his phone. I find that to be a very tough decision to make, although it is the right decision. Yeah, and there's quite a difference between dobbing someone in and doing the right thing and showing that integrity across both. Mm -hmm. of the... Ten days CB. $500 fine. The fucking ink is not even dry on the last charge yet. You are not to do any retaliation against that recruit. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, sir, Major. If I hear anything like that has happened, see ya. It pisses me off. Look, if you've got fucking issues, ask for permission. There's a payphone down the corridor. Use that. We are looking very seriously at your attention. I shit you not. Very seriously. Cock of the walk one day, fucking feather duster the next. That issue was side. What's the rest of his skill sets like? He's, he's, a, he's a good soldier. It's his attitude, isn't it? He hasn't shown any remorse. It's a second offence for the same thing. Can we send him to a unit whilst he continues to behave like this? The answer in my mind is no. OK, I'm going to reserve judgment on him just at the moment before we make a final decision. Recruits Penne's father is a sergeant major in the army. Get out of here. There's huge pressure on him to live up to his family reputation. So if he cracks on and says, yes, thank you to my peers for holding me accountable, it may work in his favour. There's no guarantee that he'll march out, and how he reacts to this um, could either be his saving grace or it could be his downfall. To hold each other accountable, is, I mean, that's a really important aspect. And hopefully he comes to that conclusion upon reflection. It's three days before march out, but for some recruits, the future in the army is far from certain. Recruit Penny's graduation is also still in some doubt. I don't think this is fair for any other recruits to be straight up honest. Look, we've done all the money. Why would you do this in the last pretty much five minutes? There's a chance of this getting me back squatted. I hope not, because that just Obviously, that'll disappoint my whole family. Just knowing that Dad did well to his career, being, you know, a hierarchy, everyone knows him. There's probably more pressure on Army brats, if, uh, for lack of a better word, to actually perform because uh, potentially they've got someone that they need to try and live up to, right? Recruit Hay also has big boots to fill. Most of my child, pretty much my childhood was here in Waiudu because my uh, stepdad, he's in the Army. He's a good role model, and then this is my brother. My brother got top recruit for platoon and company, so he did pretty well. Yeah, if I do something dumb, I don't want it to like fall back on them. Yeah, bit of pressure, but as long as they're proud of me, I guess, then yeah. While the drill competition reaches the critical judging stage, the hierarchy continues to evaluate recruits at risk. PC concerns, Singh, she's our big concern fitness-wise. She failed the CFT we did and failed every stand. She's like five foot mm. and she's carrying like over 100% of her body weight. That's a big ask for yeah. her, she's 46.2 kilos. Her strength to weight ratio was probably better than all of us. It's just around that minimum standard. Yeah, and she has one more opportunity to beat this thing. Yeah. Shoulder! Oh! 
Probably the best uh, platoon draw I've seen in 18 months. 25, 25, jig them out of 24. It's been quite tight. Eh? What is it for you to draw? Mm. <laughs> march off. Give my march off. So, Private Murphy, he was spoken to by the CSM on two different occasions of zero, zero improvement. I don't think he'll change his behaviour if he doesn't demonstrate <clears throat> the causes of a soldier. Mm. OK, let's write it up. I hope it's not too bad, but... Oh. Murphy, just form up here. Recruit Murphy has been told he will not be graduating and has been sent home along with a few others. The sudden dismissals have left the whole company uneasy and confused. Like I wouldn't, I guess. Yeah, it was quite off-putting for us to shoot. Mm. Get the boot last minute for what seems to be no apparent reason. So I, I don't really, I don't really agree with that. Most of the platoons wrote statements, but uh, sort of could be seen as mutiny. Mm. Apparently, they didn't really fly very well. <laughs> so I. Um, platoon might get a bit beasted for that. I didn't think that it was going to change anything, but at least we back him up sort of thing. Um, but still, we weren't allowed to. Nothing we can do. Yeah, it happens. Sometimes it happens on the day as well of the graduation, but that's the way it is. Um, that's how it works. Those are the rules. Tonight is the recruit's final function, but the recent dismissals have put a cloud over the celebration. They're having a chat to some of them, they're not feeling too, too happy at the moment, but things happen and we just got to deal with it the way it is, yeah. We're here for a good night. It's probably the last time we're going to see anyone here uh, till core training's over. So, yeah. The winners of the drill competition have been decided. That platoon will have the honour of leading Casino Company onto the parade ground. Not even going to take it out. <laughs> not too sure. Elliot's going to take this one. Drill is like a pill, it should be. Thank you, Well done. It was quite close. So, without further ado... Elliot. So happy. We won. Try to stay humble, but I'm really excited. While some recruits can kick back and relax, for others, tomorrow is a big day. Who's doing a CFT? If you don't pass those tests tomorrow, you don't get on the bus. It's as simple as that. We have the Parkinson until I see. I think he's going to run up with me. Don't give me a 20 No pressure. Against all odds, Singh has passed the first three components of the combat fitness test, but now faces her biggest challenge, the run. She come across the halfway line, 15, 15, so 45 seconds of speed. That's it. She's failed everything Monday or Tuesday, and she's passed everything now. Yeah, she's on track for for pass today, which is um, good for us and good for the platoon and Mora. We've got four minutes, you need to walk fast. Walk fast, let's go. Recover. She should be hitting, hopefully, between the 31 and 32. Kind of not fine, but um, she's pushing herself out. Really gonna hurt. Push through. Keep this up. We are gonna do this, Sam. You are gonna pass. He sounds right there. Come on, Sam. All the way through. He's going to say pass. Big finish. All the way through. 21. Oh, Sam. You've done it. Well done, Sam. Well done. Stand up, Sam. Stand up, Sam. Stand up, Sam. Come on. Stand up. Come on, Sam. On your feet. On your feet. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Ready? Sam. Drop your gears. Come this way. Come this way. Sam, you all right? You breathe? Second, second, recover. 76 seconds, phase one, 15 for fire manoeuvre, eight for lift and carry at 3106 for our final score. That's a pass overall. Well done, Sam. Thank you so much, Sam. I knew you could do it. Sam, thank you. I've thought 10 times harder than anyone else. But it's been like all worth it. <laughs> Just to see my mum's face right at the middle, I, yeah. And seeing how proud she is of me, 
she just kept saying, don't let one test pull you down for what you've achieved over the 16 weeks you've been there. <laughs> Recruit Singh can now graduate with her platoon, Sports. but recruit Penne's fate has still not been decided. Get off this program as fast as you possibly can. Move! The recruits will march out tomorrow, but some friends and family have arrived early, and they have a few hours to spend together at the Army Marae. This one in. Give me cuddles, my boy. I miss him. I'm going to take him home. Come home, mate. I'll teach you the army. <laughs> Every day, you know, I want to... Is he warm? Is he, you know, getting himself in trouble? Or are they yelling at him and all this? And you go through a lot with them, but that's part of the deal, eh, girl? Sergeant Major Penny has had an opportunity to pass on some words of wisdom to his son. Sometimes you talk as a father and sometimes you talk as a sergeant major. You got the father and the sergeant major talk. <laughs> got a few speed bumps there and just needed a bit of realignment, so it's up to them now to make the right choices. There's a lot of different facets to being a good soldier. Attitude, the ethos and the values, all that sort of stuff. Everything that we do here sets them up for success. But then the real work starts when they leave here. There's the unknown, the level of risk in terms of the job that we do. It's not an easy occupation. Back at the barracks, Elliot Platoon have received more bad news. That's pretty sad. Especially this last one up, but... Hey. Recruit Hay will not be marching out with her platoon after being caught leaving the camp without permission. They said my course has ended, and that results in me not marching out tomorrow. It's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty gutting feeling. Yeah, it sucks, but... It's just a shame, cos, like, her family's already here, and, like, you know... Mostly I could only think about how they would feel towards me and how they would take it. But I feel a lot better talking to them, yeah. My dad was like, whether you march out or whether you don't, yeah. I'm still coming to see you. I don't care. Like, I'm coming to see you. Yeah. So. We're like best friends, straight up. A day before march, I didn't think that was possible, eh? It would be cool to watch you guys all march out. As long as I get to do that, at least. It's graduation day for the recruits of Intake 388. Morning routine. But it's a rough start for the morning for Elliot and Nari Moon. Oh. 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 Fucking Hinton. We got fucked up first. This is what they did to Els. <laughs> And they took a couple of Cardo's plants out of the garden and all stand by for that. <laughs> you motherfucker! It wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that's crack of his fuck, but. Ooh. You never saw it happen. Fuck your infantry, you should hear that sort of shit. Well, I heard a little bit of stuff, but I didn't take anything of it. I know it's a release, but a day before grad, you know, really, I'll come around at 8.30. If it's not up to scratch, they're all on flat pop. I'll have the last fucking laugh. Excitement is building as the time to march out gets closer. Oh, I can't even eat. Uh, yeah, I'm so nervous. I'm glad to be marching out with each and every one of these boys. You'll see me out the front doing the kai Happy, excited. Ready to get out of here. I'll be sad that it's not me marching with them because, you know, that was the intent, was to march out with all my brothers and sisters next to me. We all went through these 16 weeks together. 
this is the day that we will be waiting for, you know, and it's, it's hours away now. I can't wait for them. It'll be our last rebellion and our last, yeah, it'll be good though. It'll be a good rebellion. Army people, like, they are really become your family. When I heard about it, um, I always had, like, trouble to believe it, but it's, it's really true. Like, they become not just friends, but family. Well, I've made some friends that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna forget. Hopefully they don't forget me, but you know, who can forgive me? We're gonna try and stay in touch. There you, you got your contacts in? No. <laughs> Have a look at your shit. If there's a crease on it, see you later. <laughs> oh. Boom, 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 boom. It, it's, it's cool to know that you've, you have changed them you know, realistically, permanently, you know, we've changed their lives in a lot of ways. Yeah, it'll be a good, good buzz to, to see them march out. Obviously, you see their families, do the performance in front of their families. I just want to see my son. That's all I'm really excited about. <laughs> like, seeing my nan. Oh, I can't wait to see my nan. My nan's like my best friend. It's very important for my whanau. My father, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, they've all been through the same steps. They've all marched out. You know, he just said to listen a little bit. Nice. Nice. Good. If it was comfortable before, it's like a leeway. As long as we need to be part of The hierarchy has decided there will be no further consequences for Penne, and he is free to march out. And they have named Kiriona top recruit for Elliot Platoon and Rua Brock top warrior overall, with Wainahu in the running for the prestigious Sergeant Major of the Army Award. It's awarded to a person who's encompassed all the army values and ethos. I think that was probably the best choice they could have made, and I, I hope she actually gets the award because she deserves it. To Fighty has some last minute instructions for the hucker. Just don't fuck it up, eh? <laughs> Smash it, eh? Stas, I see. Sixteen weeks ago, 106 men and women marched into Waiuru as civilians with the goal of becoming career soldiers. Today, the 89 that remain are about to realise that dream in front of friends and family. Having stood on this parade myself in my own graduation back in 1971, it is the start of a journey which follows in the steps of hundreds of thousands of other New Zealanders before you. You have become part of a new family. It believes in courage, commitment, and prides itself in camaraderie. And the reputation it has won and paid for in blood on battlefields all over this world. You have formed relationships and friendships that will remain with you for your life. That is a good thing. Don't forget what you've achieved. Don't forget what your comrades have achieved alongside of you. And always be proud of the fact that you are soldiers in the New Zealand Army, or you are second to none.
For the recruits of Intake 388, the journey has not been an easy one. It wasn't meant to be. But for those who have been successful, the traditional passing out through the Maori gateway marks the moment they transition from raw recruits to proud soldiers to be deployed in the service of their country, Aotearoa, New Zealand. step for me to a big white wheel. Yeah, we made it. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.